So for Memorial Day weekend, it is so important for us to stop and take some time to recognize those who gave their life for our country. It can also be a difficult time for veterans and their mental health. So this morning, we're joined by Steve Carlton with Gallus Medical Detox. Thank you so much for coming in on the long weekend. My pleasure. I, I know that you work with a lot of veterans mm -hmm. as well. Can you just talk about the conversations you were having heading into this weekend? It was really interesting. I met with a veteran on Friday and um, on his way out, I asked him, I was like, what, what's one thing that you would want civilians to know about yeah. Memorial Day and what would you want them to think about? And his answer was really simple and interesting. He said, uh, people should celebrate, right? That's what this sacrifice was for so that people could be free and, and, and be free to celebrate. Wow. Um, but his advice was just remember what it is for. Yeah. It's, it's, it is a day of remembrance and mourning. And, People are wise to remember that. Gosh, that is that's so mm -hmm. beautiful and good perspective, right? Yeah. Because you know, a lot of times I think we get caught up in you know the barbecues and the parties and having mm -hmm. time off. How how are people balancing that versus like you were talking about that this is a day of remembrance? Mm -hmm. Well, it's. I think when you're at those parties, just taking a moment, whether that's privately to yourself or or amongst people, just to remember and, and have a moment of silence, a, 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 a cheers, a, just some, yeah. some gratitude for Something what to, that's about. Right, that, mm -hmm. that we are able to have this day of celebrating and yeah. enjoying with our family and friends. And remember that a lot of people are going to cemeteries on that day. Yes. There's yeah. a lot of people out there going to cemeteries and, and be respectful. I can imagine that this could also be very difficult for some veterans. Can you talk about what we can do to support veterans mm -hmm. in, in a weekend like this? You know, I remember my grandfather who served in World War II, and as kids, we were always desperate to hear those stories. We wanted so badly to know, like, what was it like mm -hmm. being in war? And he, any time we asked those questions, he would get choked up and he like tears would come and we would never hear those stories. And then through all this work with veterans and at the VA, what I've what I recognize now is that for people that have experienced the worst of it and mm -hmm. given the most sacrifice, it's also the most difficult for them to talk about and think about. So what does that support look like mm -hmm. then for maybe family who has lost someone, for somebody who knows someone? Mm -hmm who lost someone. I think you still reach out. Yeah. I think oftentimes people get too caught up in not wanting to be intrusive. Sure. And so they don't reach out. They don't text. They don't make that call. They don't invite people. And I think that's wrong. I think you, you do reach out, right? That, and, and it's the person's decision whether or not they answer and call you back or text back. We are almost out of time, but I just mm -hmm. want to go back to the conversation you had yeah. with the veteran. Any other messages that you know wanted to share with, with everyone else to think about today? You know, for, for me tomorrow, Michael Murphy, sort of one of Colorado's finest, um, that gave his life for our country. You know, CrossFit, they, there's the Murph that people do, and I think that's a great example of a way that you can right. honor veterans and honor that sacrifice. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for yeah. coming in. Your perspective is always so valued here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll be right back.